everyone, it's Sharon from Sharon to Sea Travel, and today we are in Miami and we are getting ready to embark on Norwegian's newest ship, the Viva. It is a gorgeous ship from what I've seen so far. It's very similar to the Prima. We're gonna go check out our cabin. Um, we have a little bit of a unique uh, cabin this time from what we're used to, so we'll show you that. And then we're gonna go do the mustard drill and or go to the, check in our mustard station nowadays, I guess you would call it, and um, then go eat because I am starving and I have to have some food in my stomach before I get my embarkation day margarita or I'll be done for the day. I'll be passed out. So let's get going. I am super excited to check out this cabin. And I gotta get off this. Look at this. This is kind of scary. <laughs> We made it to our cabin. We are in 11809, and this is our second ever interior cabin. We had one recently on Holland America, and we thought, hey, we booked this quite a while ago, and we thought this would be our first one, but it's our second one. So now we've had an old ship <laughs> interior, and now a brand new ship interior. I'm just kind of looking around here at a glance. When I come into a cabin, I always look for electric how many electrical outlets there are, um, how much storage space, counter space and things because we usually travel as a family most of the time. So that's what I'm concerned with. And I'm just kind of looking around. I already can see that there are several USB and an electrical outlet by this side of the bed. Um, lots of counter space, storage space. And we will give you a proper cabin tour later in our cabin video, our cabin tour video. So watch for that coming um, after this. And I'm going to take a peek in the bathroom. I'll show you that later. You're gonna like that. It's a great bathroom. That might be my favorite part of this room. But right now, um, as the TV says, we have to watch the safety video. We have to go check in at our muster station. And then I need to get some food. So um, let's get going, get this embarkation day started, get some food, check in with our muster station, and have some fun. We decided it is time to fill our bellies, so we're gonna hit up the Surfside Grill which is also the Surfside Cafe, which is the buffet on this cruise ship. So the Surfside Grill has got a selection of little food, snacks, all those grilled things that you love. Burgers, dogs, chicken breasts. Nice little salad bar right here as well. And then you come through here and now you're in the Surfside Cafe, which is super busy. They got the Surfside Bar right here. The dessert station is always packed. Then you get into all your food. You can see it's nutso here. I can't really even get much video of it, but we'll, we'll try to drop in some more video as we can. So keep on watching the vlogs. But uh, Sharon and I are gonna grab some food here at the buffet. We're gonna check it out. Let me see if I can break away and show you what we had. All right, so there you go. So I had a little bit of a pizza, spaghetti, and, and a delicious seafood kind of a roll. It was fantastic. And Sharon had a little something as well, and of course she's got her desserts. She can never be without her desserts. Now one place you can check out here on the NCL Viva is the Vibe Beach Club. Yes, it is a little bit of an upcharge, but if you like some place that's a little bit exclusive, has its own bar and tons and tons of chairs. There's a couple of hot tubs as well. This might be the place for you. Just a little bit more quiet. In the back of the ship here, you have the Haven Pool area. Up above, you've got the race track, and I think that's the Speedway Lounge or bar right up above us there. But you can take a walk through here and check out the Vibe Beach Club. Bar service, full stock bar, and it's adjacent to the buffet in case you need a little snack. So if you're on NCL Viva, check out the Vibe Beach Club. And if you do, you might be able to have a drink with Sharon from Sharon Sea Travel. All right, well, we're just wrapping up a fun little afternoon here, hanging out at the Vibe. So that was super cool, having the chance to check out this place. 
Sharon, what would you think of the vibe? It was. It was. It's really cool out here. It's not crowded, so it's definitely worth it because every place else on the ship is packed right now. It really is packed. Uh, the, they said that there were lines for drinks at the main pool bar, yeah. and up here we're just sitting at the bar uh, with plenty of elbow yeah. room and everything. So yeah, it was the a fabulous buffet time. was a madhouse, as it usually is on embarkation day. But the buffet on this ship is probably too small for the amount of people. So. Three thousand people eating at once—it's chaos. Yeah. All right, so now let's uh, let's get back to the room. We got a little more unpacking to do, don't we? We do. Let's go. Let's go. So we're on our way to our cabin, but we realized we got to stop really quick here and look into making any reservations or anything that we need for being on our cruise. We're just checking a, a couple of our things. A Beetlejuice, which is a main show. Icons is another show. And uh, there are no reservations required on this sailing, but if you're on a different one, make sure you check that. Sharon's here uh, adjusting our dining reservation we had at Onda by Scarpetta because we have a lot of stuff going on that night we don't want to miss. They only have Onda on the 4th at 9.15, or we can do Cagney's at 8.45. 8.45 or 9.15? Let's go 9.15, Onda. Really? Let's go Onda. You want to do that? Okay. Yeah. You, I can tell by the look in your face you don't want to do that, so whatever yeah. you want to do is fine. Um, all right, so a little bit of an update there. So we just showed you a little clip. We stopped on the way to the cabin and uh, we wanted to make sure that we had our reservations. Our reservation for Onda by Scarpetta was going to conflict with some of the things we wanted to see, like it the rumor show and Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. But they're both on the same night. So as it is, it's, we're going to have to really juggle to see both of them. And so we had to move our dining to the fourth the next day. So we did that. Um, we're going to have to eat a little late, uh, 9.15, but that's okay. Uh, we'll manage. We'll manage, we'll, we'll manage. We'll take a nap. <laughs> All right, I'm going to head down to guest services really quick before we get on with the afternoon and put a card on file. Um, usually I do that on the online check-in process, but I didn't do it this time, I guess. I forgot, um, or I just was speeding through it trying to get an early check-in. I don't know. But anyways, I need to put a card on file. So let's run down to guest services and do that because I might want to purchase something this evening. Now we do have the free at sea perks with Norwegian. You know, they do have the drink package, a specialty dining, um, a little bit of Wi-Fi, and a shore excursion credit. But I might want to purchase something on board or, you know, maybe there's a drink or something that's not on, on my drink package that I want to purchase. So I'm going to put a car on file so there's no issues because I don't want to be denied purchasing something when I go to buy it. <laughs> All right, well, Sharon found the, uh, the guest services area and actually they told us, come over to the onboard credit desk which is cool because there's totally no one there. And uh, Sharon went up there, she's gonna put a card on file. And like she said, that way any cash purchases can be taken care of. NCL's got all the drinks, Wi-Fi, that stuff covered. But now we can spend a little cash as well. And there you go. How's it going, Sharon? Great. I was noticing that cool background right there for pictures. Oh, that's kind of a hippie, trippy looking yeah. background, isn't it? It looks a little different. I haven't seen anything like that before. Very cool. We'll check it out. Now, just in case you needed to get into the Christmas spirit, they've got you covered. Look at that Christmas tree. What do you think of that, Sharon? I think it's beautiful. It is a beauty. So it looks great here in the atrium, three-story atrium. A real unique setup. Level two here. Well, not level two. Level two of the atrium, I should say. We're on deck seven. Has the Starbucks right over there. Shore excursion desk guest services and a little shopping right down there is the primrose bar up top you got the whiskey bar we're gonna have to check that out later so far this ship definitely reminds me of prima and it's just as lovely as she was what do you think um, I think so and I mean the color scheme so far is pretty much the same as well it's really modern a lot of bright colors whites and light blues and things but I love it so far so good now let's see what else we can get going. We're gonna head to the back of the ship. I'm not quite sure the full name. We'll check it out and let you know, but uh, it's a beautiful spot for maybe a sail away. We'll see what happens. All right, we came up to deck eight. We're gonna pass through the local to get to uh, the area we wanna go to to try to get some good seats for the sail away. Local full bar right here. There's also a dining area. Happy people everywhere. Shockingly, there's no college football on. They just have the other football, European football. Well, these are some cool little seats. I don't remember these on the Fremont. We're in the indulged food hall right now. 
and these are pretty cool. Nice place for like two people to sit. But since we're here, it's not quite open yet, and we can take a good look at it. So let's walk around here, and we'll show you the indulge food hall and all the little areas to eat at. First, you got the uh, tamara right here, meat, fish, vegetarian, chutney, rice, bread, stuff like that they're going to have for you. So that's very cool. The idea behind this whole place is that you take a seat and you come up here and you order off of this digital iPad type of thing and then they will bring you the food and you can choose from different venues and different types of food here in the indulged food hall. It's very cool. And this is one of my favorite places in here and that is the, it's called Just Desserts. Look at that. They're getting the desserts all ready for this evening. Those look delicious. There's some of the hard-working folks here on the Viva making delicious looking desserts. All right, Noodles is a very popular place as well, so that is super cool. Let's see what they've got going on back here. Lots of cool seating, very comfy, roomy. And this place will fill up. I mean, totally fill up when it's busy. That's for sure. Oh, here's the food truck up here. <laughs> Little food truck. The Latin Quarter. Oh, I see the Luna Bar back there. So if you need a beverage, they're going to take care of you. You got some booth seating over there and the Q Texas Smokehouse. That's what it is. Q Texas Smokehouse right back there. Oh, and there's another little area here. Just sweets. They put a few more desserts in this area over on this side to make it more convenient to grab. And then we have the garden. The garden has, oh, it has like some great soups here, tomato soup, a French onion soup, and several different salads. There's a spinach Caesar, a romaine and kale, a cob salad. That actually sounds good right now. Tapas over here. And the seaside rotisserie back here. Looks like they're preparing some dinner back here. One of the more popular places to eat here on uh, the Viva, and um, we enjoyed it on the Prima, and I think we might check it out again, and hopefully it's just as good this time. What do you think? Um, I hope so. We'll definitely eat here at least once, maybe twice during the next four days. That's right, but get here early, guys. It will fill up quickly. Wow, that was amazing. So we just finished up a fantastic sail away. We, we did a live stream during it. So um, we'll try to drop in a little bit of video from the live stream if you didn't see it right here. Look at that, look at that. Terminal B, this new, I mean, it's a newer terminal. It looks fabulous, by the way. So this is the aft area of uh, deck eight, by the way. You guys are liking that, aren't you? I knew you were like that. Uh oh, people are cheering right now. There's all, oh my God, it's so funny. There's a park right here. And all these people are just out there watching the ships leave and they're cheering for us. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> It is beautiful. We've sailed away from Miami several times, but it's always been during the day. And although that's been beautiful, um, sailing away with the sunset and as, as it all lights up, the skies get dark. It's, it is just beautiful. Unbelievable. Let me give you a little shot right here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a lot of people here, but... You can see Miami right there in the distance. This is fantastic. It's gorgeous out here. Oh man, it just takes your breath away. If you haven't done a Miami sail away yet, make sure you put that on. I don't know if I'd call it a bucket list, but I'd call it a list. So make sure that you, you do that and check it out. All right, well, we've gotten a little bit away from Miami here, but uh, we still have the pilot boat right here with us. That's right, every time you come into or out of the port, a pilot boat will usually escort you to make sure that everything's safe and sound and you're following the channel and doing all the right things. I mean, not that we don't trust the captain, but the pilot boat comes in handy. Well, there comes a point in your embarkation day where you need to kind of transition from embarkation, fun, crazy, enjoyable, sail away, to 
dining and making your dinner arrangements. And it looks like we've decided to do what, Sharon? The Indulge Food Hall. Um, the main reason we decided to do this tonight, we were sitting outside and we looked in here and we're like, you know what? This place is usually packed and it's not that busy tonight because it's the first night. I think everyone's going to the main dining room or have other dining arrangements. So we're like, this is a perfect opportunity to just kind of wander in here, grab a table and eat. So we're going to eat in here tonight. Uh, one great thing is if you sit at any of the little stools at the bars of all the different areas, then you can only order from those areas. But if you sit at a table in here, you can order right here on this little um, iPad type thing. And you can order from any of the restaurants. So you could order something from maybe the um, something chicken or something from the rotisserie. Or you could order something from the garden, something from tapas or whatever you want. You can mix and match all your foods together and they'll just bring it right to your table. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, we'll show you what we decide on in a few minutes. All right, our order has been placed here at the Indulge Food Hall, and I am extremely, extremely excited about it. I can't even tell. I'm bursting with excitement. Look at the grin on my face. It's almost from ear to ear. Sharon's laughing at me right now on the other side of the camera because I'm acting a fool because I'm so excited about this food. But we're going to have a little something from the barbecue, a little something from the salad area, um, a couple other odds and ends that we mix in there, and a few beverages, and it's going to be great. So we're going to show you the food as it comes. I don't think it'll come all at once. I think it comes out like from each station, each area that you order from. And um, that's the deal. So it's dinner time here. NCLB, the night one, and Marcation Day in Hell's Food Hall. Are you ready for it? All right, well, the little food is starting to show up here. We've got the uh, vegetables, uh, pakora, the deep fried vegetables are here. Looks like Sharon's got her grilled chicken Cobb salad. Sharon, That's how does that look? It looks delicious. It looks really good. That looks fabulous. So uh, there you go. There's a good look at that. Oh my. All right, next I've got these spare ribs from the barbecue section. Oh my, those look fabulous. The food just keeps coming and coming. <laughs> so we'll see what comes next. We ordered several different things to try, so I'm excited. All right, so real quick on these spare ribs, there is some potato salad right there in the middle some coleslaw and sliced pickles. And Our Sharon's got a little tomato soup right like there. The roasted tomato soup. Looks that looks fabulous. All right, next Sharon got a little guacamole. So we got some chips and a little dollop of guac right there. Mm -hmm. That looks great. I think so. This is my meal. Basically, I have the cob salad. We're trying the chips and guacamole, the tomato soup, and I ordered a brisket. So. Um, I still have my brisket to come. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, next we've got the deviled eggs. Oh, those just look delicious. All right, we decided one thing we wanted to try was the brisket here. It looks great. Again, you got coleslaw, potato salad, pickles, and some delicious looking pieces of brisket. I think Sharon ordered that, didn't you, Sharon? I did. Um, I'll share with you, though. Oh my god, thank you. Alright, one last thing was a curry dish. It was a pork with like a tomato brown sauce. I'm not even 100% sure of the name, but it was spicy and delicious. But right now, Sharon is chasing down some desserts. Alright, dessert time. I got a few desserts for us to share here. I have some jello, because I always like jello. I don't know why, I just love jello. Have some pineapple cheesecake. And. This is called Fantasy Pie. I have no idea what's in it, but it sounded intriguing, so I thought I would get it and give it a taste. So, Jamie, spoon for you. Let's try that one first. I'm gonna try the Fantasy Pie right now. Mm. Score, uh, score one to 10, what do you got for it? I'm gonna get a three. <laughs> Okay. It's alright, I'll eat it, but it's, I mean, it's okay. Mm. Let's go with the pineapple cheesecake. Okay. Let's get a score. Pineapple cheesecake. You know, it's funny, I didn't think I would like this, but I'm gonna give it up. A six and a half. Whoa, whoa, Pretty whoa, good. okay. And the jello? And jello. Jello's jello. I mean, for a dessert, I would give it like a, a four, but if you're just talking about jello in general, 
I give it a seven. Wow, so, Jello high score right there, but, uh, but you're in here first, guys. <laughs> but overall, if I had to get any of these again for my dessert, I'd probably go with this. Pineapple cheesecake is a winner. I need more light. I need more light. You got to come closer. Okay, hold on. We're trying to get a we're trying to get a view of this little cutie right there. Oh, look at that! Look at that! A future high level uh, NCL cruiser right there. Fabulous, beautiful, adorable. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Well, that was fantastic. As we we're just sitting here in the local, kind of winding down from our meal. This very nice lady comes by with a beautiful baby. Yeah. Sharon, what do you think of that? She's like, you want to get a shot of this? And we're like, sure. It's a little baby. I mean, probably, I don't know. I would say maybe about 10 months old, 9, 10 months old. So it's probably her first little cruise. So that's exciting. Um, we just came out of here. Well, we're just kind of hanging out here in the local right now. We came out of Indulge Food Hall, and you walk through the local to get out. And um, we're in the bar area. There's a really big bar here. There's all kinds of um, fun chairs, some swinging chairs, these big wicker chairs. So it's a great place to kind of hang out. There's another side to the local here on the ship where it's more like a sort of like a restaurant where you can order food and sit in there and eat as well. So. Um, we're going to just hang out here for a few minutes, and then we're going to go see what else we can find around the ship to do. Look for some music, maybe go to the casino. I don't know, but we'll, we'll let you know what we find to do, and we'll go see what's going on around the ship, and we'll bring you along. Let's go. As we're walking by the photo gallery area, we looked outside, and we're like, oh my gosh, this is um, where all the artwork um, and some of the sculptures are, kind of the ocean walk area. So we came out here to take a look. Look at this one. This is really cool. I love that with the scissors. Let's take a walk down here and see what else we can find. There's all kinds of little seats out here, down here, down there, where you can sit, just sit out here and enjoy the artwork and the nice um, breeze. It's really quite comfortable out here. It's not cold, it's not hot. It's perfect. And this is the last piece right here. Uh, and it's right in front of the gift shop. In the windows I can see the gift shop and I can see people in there shopping. So that means it is open. So it's time to head in there and check to see if they have a Viva ship because I need to buy a Viva ship if they have one before they're sold out. So let's head to the gift shop. So as we're walking down here, I kind of remembered the Prima had this. There's like a long walkway and there's a lot of other, not, I wouldn't really say shops and stores, but there's little sections where there's jewelry, sunglasses, and there's some other electronics down there. Now there is a little shop up here, so we're gonna go in there and take a look. The shopping is a little limited on here. They do have a few high-end items and things, like I said, handbags as well up there. Um, but let's go in here and see if there's any kind of logo things or like the ships and things like that. There's another shop up here. And there she goes, folks. This is where you lose her, into the shop. Well, unfortunately it looks like this is the only kind of local things they have on the Viva. I don't really see any ships. I am going to go ask someone, but the Prima didn't have ships when we were on the Prima either, so we may be out of luck on the ship models. Now they do have some shirts in there. You know, I will say that they have some shirts and like a one type of a like sweat jacket kind of thing. Um, but, but that's it. They just don't have a lot of logo things. The ship models, I guess they did have some, but she said they sold them sold them out last week. So I don't know. They couldn't have had that many because this was the first U.S. sailing. And I asked her, did you have them? Did you sell them out over in Europe? And she said, no, they sold out last week. So I, they did have like a little travel agent event before we got on. So I'll, I'm assuming that's where they sold them out. So for their first revenue sailing in the U.S., they don't have any ship models. Come on, Norwegian, take it up. Um, I'm still trying to get a Prima ship model as well, so I hope they have some this summer. Anyways, 
I'm done ranting. There's my little rant for the evening. There's always a positive to go with the negative. One thing I love about Norwegian is they still have the paper freestyle dailies. So this is for tomorrow. I, I'll check that out and see what we want to do tomorrow. But we're going to go drop our stuff off um, in the room and then we're going to head out and maybe test the face a little in the casino and see where the night takes us. So we're going to call it a night. Do you guys hear? So good night everyone and we'll see you in the morning.